You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. Eight people have been charged with smuggling endangered monkeys by federal prosecutors in the U.S., including a Cambodian wildlife official who was arrested in New York while traveling to a conference on the protection of endangered species. EAC News reporter De Canin has the details. The Deputy Director of Wildlife and Biodiversity in Cambodia's Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries, Matt Paul Cree, was arrested on Wednesday at John F. Kennedy International Airport in New York. The 46-year-old official was traveling to Panama to attend an international meeting on regulating trade in endangered species, said a U.S. official on the condition of anonymity to discuss the ongoing investigation. The Director General of the Cambodian Forestry Administration, 58-year-old Omalik Gaev, is also charged in the eight-count indictment along with six people connected to a Hong Kong-based company, Vani Resources Holdings. The company was involved with breeding long-tailed macaques for scientific and academic research, supplying them to labs in Florida and Texas. However, the group of eight is being accused of illegally purchasing wild macaques for the business when they lacked supply for their breeding operations. U.S. officials have not said whether anyone besides Deputy Director Matt Paul Cree has been taken into custody. They each face potentially up to 145 years in prison. According to the indictment, Bunny Resources Holdings founder and owner James Mansang Lau and Bunny Resources Holdings general manager Dixon Lau, operating from Hong Kong, own and manage several corporations that allegedly conspired with black market collectors and officials in Cambodia to acquire wild markets and export them to the U.S. falsely labeled as captive bread. The markets are thought to have been illegally taken from national parks and other protected areas in Cambodia to breeding facilities where they were provided false export permits, U.S. officials said. The Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries officials allegedly received cash payments of $220 each in exchange for a collection quota of 3,000 unofficial monkeys. Long-tailed muskets, sometimes known as crab-eating muskets, are protected under international trade law and special permits are required to import the animals into the U.S. The long-tailed muskete is the most heavily traded primate, according to the CITES database, almost exclusively for laboratory research. The U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of Florida, Juan Antonio Gonzalez, said in a statement that the market is already recognized as an endangered species by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, and the practice of legally taking them from their habitat to end up in a lab is something that needs to stop. The conference in Panama that Cambodian wildlife officials were heading to bring together delegates from 184 parties to the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora and includes an event focused on threats to the very species they have been accused of trafficking. The spokesperson for the Ministry of Agriculture, Amrit Jana, has told EAC News that the Ministry is gathering information while this case is under investigation. No further details will be released until then. Both the U.S. and Cambodia have not yet convicted these eight individuals, and the spokesperson added that the ministry will soon make a statement about this case. Nekanin, EAC News.